Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm going to show you how you can connect Follow-Up Boss to Google Sheets. It's an easy way to create a backup of all your contacts in Follow-Up Boss. And actually you can create a two-way sync. So all those contacts get pushed into a Google Sheet. And then if you want to make some bulk edits to everybody you have in Follow-Up Boss, you can hop into that Google Sheet, make the changes, and it'll push back into Follow-Up Boss. The other option is syncing Google Sheets into Follow-Up Boss is a great way to get onboarded, get an agent on there, up and running, just take their sheet, feed it right in there, you're up and going. And finally, just having everybody in a single spreadsheet makes it really easy to see what's going on in your business. You can create charts and reports based on your leads and follow-up boss and find out exactly what's going on. It's super easy to set up this powerful connection. Let me show you how. First thing you're gonna do is go to apination.com and you're just gonna click on Discover Connections. You're gonna see a ton of different apps here. You're gonna see a lot of logos that look familiar. Real estate logos, marketing logos, productivity logos. I'm going to go to F for Follow-Up Boss and click on that. You can see these are the apps I can sync with Follow-Up Boss, including, there it is, Google Sheets. But if any of these other are apps that you're currently using, go ahead and click through those and you can automate connections there as well. So there's two syncs available, Follow-Up Boss to Google Sheets and Google Sheets to Follow-Up Boss. I'm going to first do this Follow-Up Boss to Google Sheets. If you already have a sheet available and you want to push it in, go ahead and do this Google Sheets into Follow-Up Boss. That's a great way to onboard somebody but I'm gonna do a follow up boss to Google Sheets. So the first step is to either sign into your API Nation account or create one. You could also sign in using your Google account, which is what I'm gonna do. And then we have to connect follow up boss. Super easy, hit this button. We need an API key and we're gonna name this connection. And to grab that API key, I'm gonna to go to admin, come all the way over here to more and click on API. You're gonna see all the API keys you've created. If you haven't created any yet, you're gonna click this button to create one and you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine API Nation because that's what I'm using it for. Hit create API key. It's gonna show you this key. This is the only time you'll see it. So make sure you copy it. And now we'll go back to API Nation to plug it in. Here we are back on API Nation. I'm just gonna click here, paste it in there. We're gonna name this connection. You can name it after you, your business your team, totally up to you. It's only if you have multiple follow-up bots connections that it really matters. All right, now we're gonna connect Google Sheets. Similar thing, sign into Google, go ahead and give it an allow. All right, here we go. The final step to create the sync. Do I wanna sync everybody? And where do I wanna sync them to? If I don't check this box, it's only gonna sync people I add or modify from now on. If I do check this box, it's gonna sync everybody that currently exists in Follow Up Boss and everybody I add and modify from now on. Totally up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and send everybody over and I'm gonna send them over to a sheet called Follow Up Boss People, F-U-B People, subscribe. This is gonna create the sync. It's not yet active. So I'm gonna come down here, just do a final check. If you wanna filter some people out, like maybe you wanna create a sheet that is just full of people from a certain source, or a certain stage, you could do that. And you can just do stage equals, you know, contains active or whatever the name of the stage is pending. You could do that absolutely. And then the sheet, the Google Sheet will only contain people of that stage. You could also do it based on tags, which could be helpful if you have an ISA or somebody, you can just tag people in Follow Up Boss that automatically sends them over to this spreadsheet that your ISA has access to, and then they can just go through and they call, follow up, send a, a gift basket, whatever they're supposed to do. Um, they just have to pay attention to that one single spreadsheet that is managed just by tags and follow boss. Great option there. Finally, we can come down here to mapping. And for Google Sheets syncs, this doesn't really matter because we just take everything we can and put it in columns. You can see all this information is gonna go in here. Even stuff like assigned lender name, was the person contacted, great, Let's go to the top and activate this sync. All right, this sync is up and running. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up the Google Sheets to a follow-up boss sync, very similar. I'm actually gonna just click this follow-up boss logo here. Come on down here and find Google Sheets again. Click through. And this time, instead of doing follow-up boss to Google Sheets, I'm gonna do Google Sheets to follow-up boss. You can just select the same accounts that we've already connected. So I'm gonna select Google Sheets. I'm gonna select follow-up boss. All right, and to create the sync, we need the spreadsheet URL. So where are we gonna pull all these people from? 
So if you're onboarding an agent and they have all their, all their contacts in a CSV or something, go ahead and load it up to Google Sheets. That'll create a Google Sheet out of their information and you can just grab the URL there. If you're creating a two-way sync, like we are, we're just gonna go find that spreadsheet we just created. Remember, we named it FUB People. So I'm gonna go to drive.google.com and I can find my spreadsheet here just by searching for the name. This is what I want, this is what I'm going to connect. So all I have to do now is just grab this URL, hit copy, go back to API Nation, paste that URL in there. I can decide if I wanna overwrite information in follow-up boss. This can be interesting because if I'm creating a two-way sync and I wanna make bulk edits, maybe I only want to edit information that's not currently in follow-up boss. Like maybe I wanna go through and add a column I hadn't yet touched, I could do that without having to worry about overriding all the other information in follow up boss. Totally up to you. Usually to be safe, I would say check it, um, but if you're gonna be doing some wild mass editing, uh, you're gonna need to override some stuff in follow up boss, so we're gonna uncheck that. I'm gonna hit subscribe. And again, here we are on the final step. You can double check things, make sure it's exactly how you want. If you decide actually I do wanna override stuff, you can do it now or you can do it later. Totally up to you. If you want to filter some people out of that spreadsheet you can do that here also you can see we connected it up if there's anything else you want to add in here you absolutely can just by hitting the plus button and searching for the fields let's go to the top and activate the sync so there we go we've now created a two-way sync between follow boss and google sheets everybody we have in follow boss the work we're doing automatically gets put into a spreadsheet and if I have a spreadsheet full of contacts I need uploaded into follow-up boss, I can use this, or I can just create this two-way sync to better manage my contacts using the power of a spreadsheet. So that's it. That's how you connect follow-up boss to Google Sheets. If you have any questions or need any assistance, give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.